David Judkins, and I portray the role of Stephen Salisbury II. I'm Francesca Savani, and I help manage the group. I'm Brianna Girton, and I'm a tour guide. I'm Frank Menu, and I'm part of James Fenton this year. Today we're going to uh, provide some uh, horse-drawn wagon tours for the public and they come and they sign up with me, I hand them a nice ticket and they're able to sit down and they hear a wonderful story of the uh, history of Worcester in the Blackstone area from Brianna and other tour guides like herself. And then we have uh, kids from South High like Frank here who plays Father Fitton and David Judkins and they'll tell a story of that person. Since he portrays Stephen Salisbury, he'll be telling you the story of Stephen Salisbury and a specific time in his life and it really brings history alive for uh, the public and that's what we really love to do. It's every Thursday from 5 to 7.30. You know, it's fun, it's free, and you know, it's a good time for the whole family to come and you know, go on a wonderful wagon ride and really learn about the community that's around them. It really started out as just this tiny little shire town of you know, a couple hundred people. It was mainly full of agriculture, farms, animals, people just living without even cemented uh, roads. And during the time, the, this, this guy, Moses Brown, he was a merchant at the time, and he decided a horse-drawn wagon is, takes way too long for my goods to get where they need to go, for me to get payment. So why don't we use this river that we have to bring boats down, and we can get even more goods, and it'll be even faster, and it's a great portion out of time. And he, he had like so many troubles getting the uh, permits for it. He had so many trouble getting money for it. But eventually, people were just like, you know what, this would be a really great idea, especially after um, the Erie Canal up in New York was done. And he just decided, let's go and do this. And that's kind of how everything started. Um, it's sort of the start of the Industrial Revolution, in a way, especially for up north. We used to actually start over by, um, on Temple Street and Harding Street, where those two streets will meet. We used to start over that way, but then um, that area got sold. So we came over here, and because of Crompton Collective, with um, them being a sponsor of us. Uh, the woman who runs the farmer's market, Amy, decided that it would be really great if we could like share business with each other so we can have our farmer's market at the same time as your tours and kids can come and they can pet alpacas and everybody can just be together and have a wonderful time. A lot of the times uh, people will tell us that we've done a wonderful job. They love what we do. They love that we do this every Thursday and it's free for families. It's a really great thing for people to do when they're waiting for dinner reservations. They're so excited that we're, we all come from one school here in Worcester and we were, a lot of us were born and raised right here and we love the area. And they're just so surprised at how wonderful these kids do and so I'm proud of them every year. and very magnificent. You guys don't want to pet them at the end of the tour, but I ask that you kindly ask one of our teamsters before you do so. Um, these horses jerk, and we all know that when their big heads meet our little heads, the big head will always win. Always. Now, how do you love someone? They know how to build something, but we all know they really He was a very wealthy man, but I don't want to give away too much of his story, so Mr. Salisbury, do you have a moment to speak to us? I do believe I do have a few minutes to speak to you before I have to go. As you all now do know, my name is Stephen Salisbury II. My father came to Worcester in the late 1700s. With him, he brought our family's booming hardware business from Boston. I had the deed to build a church, but then when they found out I was going to build a Catholic church, he ripped the deed right in my face. But the Irish Canal workers of Worcester who made it all happen. 
I had to build a church. My name is Father Jim Fitton. I built a Catholic church for the city of Worcester. And I'll go on to build a school for the city of Worcester. Okay, so over here to my left, we have the old Ash Street School, which was built in 1850. And they had held a pretty radical educational experiment. Does anybody have any ideas on what they might have done? Hello, my name is Emma Goldman, and I'd like to thank you all for coming to see me today. Now, everyone assumes that just because of my beliefs that I'm this stubborn rebel who enjoys watching the downfall of others, but that's not true. All right, little kids, can you guys find the lions on Union Station? Do you guys see the lions? Do you see the ones that are holding stuff in their mouth and the ones that are growling? So the ones holding stuff in their mouth, um, they're holding garlands, and that is to represent peace. And the ones that are growling are to represent the fierceness of Worcester. Coming up, we have the Broadway. They actually make their own homemade ice. They make their own ice cream. It's fantastic. And um, it's really, really good. So, free the Blackstone. Woo! Woo! Massachusetts has known the history of transportation from that of the wagon and the horse all the way up to that of rail-powered locomotives and, well, jet travel. Having traveled down the entire length of the canal, I truly can understand the importance that this revelation had on our economy and our society during the turbulent period of the Industrial Revolution. Having been to Lock 48 and having engaged in many educational you know, programs to learn more about this fabulous canal system, I can understand the importance and the privilege we have to be at a time when uncovering the Great Blackstone Canal is an option. I highly support any motive to try and help this program get off its feet so that we can actually understand our proud heritage of the canal and to help restore it to its former glory, to bring it back to its national reputation. There are only two locks left in the Blackstone Valley, and soon there may be none. We have to take it upon ourselves to preserve our history before, just like the canal boats, it drifts down the river and out of reach forever. From Worcester to Millville, all the way down to Providence, we want a united front to help this project get its hold and help bring it to a reality.